If the launch window is not showing up on your screen, go to the File menu, Launch Window, to open it. Since we will be creating a score from scratch, let's click the Setup Wizard button. That brings us to the first window. In the Select an Ensemble first column, click Create New Ensemble. In the second column, under Document Style, choose the Engraved Style. That's all we will do in this window. Click the Next button. Now we will select our staves. Since this score only contains a grand staff, that is all we need to select in this window. In the first column, click on Blank Staff. In the second column, click on Grand Staff and click the Add button to add it to the third column. Click the Next button. Here you can enter your score information. You should have a blinking cursor in the title box, so type in Go Tell Aunt Rhody. Press the Tab key twice to move the cursor to the Composer box, where you can type in Folk Song. That's all we will do in this window. Click the Next button. Here we will choose our score settings. For the time signature, click on 4-4. The concert key signature is already set to C major, so there's nothing we need to change here. For the number of measures, we have nine measures in the score, so type in nine. You can always add more measures later at any time. For the tempo marking, click in the text box and type in lively. Set the metronome marking to a quarter note equals 144. When you make changes to the tempo settings, the tempo marking box is automatically checked, so the settings will appear in your score. There is no pickup measure in this score, so no adjustments need to be made here. Note that the pickup measure box is not checked. Click the Finish button and your score opens. At the top of your screen, you will notice that it says Untitled. This means that you have not named and saved your document yet. To save your score, click on the File menu, Save As. At the top of the window, next to Save In, choose the folder where you want the score to be saved. I'll save my score to the desktop. At the bottom of the window, next to File Name, type in a name for your score. For this example, type in Go Tell Aunt Rhody and the word Empty at the end. Next to Save as Type, in Finale 2014 and going forward, your file is automatically saved as a .musx file. Finale 2012 files and earlier versions were saved with the .mus file extension, which are now referred to as Finale Legacy files. Then you can click the Save button. I recommend saving your score often. I try and save each time after I've entered the notes or markings in a section of the score. Now that you have set up a simple score, you are ready to enter the notes. There are many ways to enter notes in a finale score. In the next three videos, I will show you the three note entry options that are available using the simple entry tool.